Hi, my name's Rostam. Don't listen to me, I only believe myself. So I'm going somewhere to do that alone. I want all of my songs to kind of live in the in-between space between a happy song and a sad song. So I think Guan has aspects of both. So the song started with the string parts. I wrote the string parts first, and then I added the chord changes underneath to give some kind of structure to the song. There's a bass line on the second verse of the song that I wrote with my Beatles bass. It was popularized by the Beatles, but it's made by a company called Hofner. So in this case, it's a bass line that's kind of like crawling up and down the pentatonic scale. So the Kate Bush drum beat, it's a kick and then two floor toms and then the snare alternating. So. I think it has this kind of tumbling quality and that's what I wanted to capture. I try to do it haphazardly because I like the way a piano sounds when you hear it in a room as opposed to the way it sounds in a studio, which to me is too clinical. And then I like to use some effects to make the piano sound older. There is an old folk song that comes from Wales called Suogon. Where I went to school had a folk tradition. I guess I just had this catalog in my mind of, of old melodies that I had really strong feelings about. I wanted to use them. That whole string break is a dream, and the lyrics returning signify coming out of that dream. So what I wanted was to kind of pull you out of it as if you were waking up. When I woke up from that dream, I was sleeping. I just sat at a piano and I was kind of like shouting gibberish over these chords and I recorded it and I put it at the end of the song and I got in my car and I listened to this version of the song with real lyrics for every section until the end where it was gibberish lyrics and I was like, yeah, that works. <laughs> <laughs> 